solving problem using basic economic water quantity model. Um, we have seen how these um, equations are developed. So if you're interested on that, check that video. Um, so generally for this kind of situation, basic economic water quantity model, this is very popular. If you're taking a fee exam, PE exam, any licensing exam, it will ask these questions, very popular. Um, so ordering, normally problems are given in a description where you will be given the ordering cost per water and then holding cost per item per unit and then demand per year and then you typically ask these four questions what's the optimum size of the order what's the inventory cost total inventory cost and then water per year and the number of operating days or number of days between each water that you place so simply optimum water size you're going to use this equation so you'll say this is basically c is two times c zero times the demand divide by the holding cost per unit so okay <laughs> did any square root it produces few hundred thousands why do we only need 1500 so now is this this is correct so we need about a thousand dollar thousand unit that is the optimum water size under this situation and the total cost is using the second equation which is um, C0 times the demand per year divided by the water size plus the carrying cost times Q water size divided by 2. So that's the total inventory cost for this particular situation. So then a number of water per year, I need 1500 per year and I'm placing 1000 item water so it's going to be one and a half water per year and if it operates 365 a days which is not normally happen it's less than that but let's say this company or whoever working they work 365 a day so then basically simply the number of days between water you are placing only one and a half water per year so it's going to be 243 days before you place the next water